From collapsing dams and crumbling malls to one of the deadliest building fires in Asia, these are some of the biggest construction fails in history. Number 5. Sampung Department Store Collapse, Korea In June 1995, a big building in Korea collapses to the ground. Nope, not because of a gas explosion or a North Korea bomb, but all because of a bad business decision. That's right, halfway into construction, Lee Jun, the head of the Sampung Group, decided to switch gears from building an apartment complex to building the largest department store in South Korea. Naturally, this decision called for major changes in the original design, such as reducing the number of supporting pillars that ultimately caused a dissymmetry in the floor plans. On top of bad planning, even during the actual construction, subpar material was used and ominous warning from experts were repeatedly ignored. No wonder, once the building was complete, cracks began to show and vibrations felt in the walls. But despite this warning, owners failed to evacuate the building in time. On June 29, 1995, at 5 p.m., all hell broke loose when the building came smashing down on hundreds of people, including shoppers who now lay under the rubble. What do you think led to this deadly collapse? Ignorance, greed, or plain stupidity? Let us know in a comment below. Number 4. The Vidara Hotel, Las Vegas On August 29, 2013, a man called Martin parked his car outside a big Vegas hotel. Two hours later, when he came back, he was shocked to see a bunch of photographers taking pictures of his car. Turns out, sun rays reflected off the hotel's massive glass facade had melted parts of the vehicle. If you haven't guessed already, this is the story of the most infamous hotel on the Las Vegas Strip, the Vidara Hotel. From burnt carpet to exploding tiles, from melting paint to baking plastic, there was nothing quite safe from the scorching sun glare from this building. So where did the hotel's architect go wrong? Designing the building in a cervical figure was the first mistake. Casing the whole structure with glass was the second. In other words, the builders had not just built a fancy hotel, but they also created a 57-foot curved mirror right smack in the middle of a desert. So you can probably imagine why the sun wasn't so kind. Guests complained that the glass focused sunlight onto an area of the pool where temperatures were hot enough to singe your hair. In scientific terms, this is called solar convergence. However, among the locals, and especially the hotel staff, the term death ray had quickly caught on. Thankfully, the unique crescent-shaped hotel was fitted with a special film on the windows to reduce the intensity of the sun's rays. Did you know the Vitara Hotel was designed by the same man who designed the walkie-talkie in London, which had a similar scorching sun glare? Sure makes you want to check if us humans may have destroyed the ozone layer. To learn more about the Death Ray building in London, check out our video in the link below. Number 3. Citicorp Center, New York New York is one of the biggest megacities in the world, so when it comes to finding land for a new skyscraper, you can imagine it's not exactly easy. At least, it wasn't for this guy, who had his eyes set on a piece of land that was owned by a local church. William Lamasserier was one of the lead American architects at the time, working on the new Citicorp Tower in New York. Finding himself in a bit of a pickle, he had to somehow make room for the church underneath. But there was another glitch. The church was supposed to be built at a corner of the block, not in the middle, which meant all four stilts had to be in the middle of each wall and not the corners. The end result was the unique architecture where load-bearing braces in the form of inverted chevrons were stacked above the stilts inside each side of the building. These braces are designed to distribute tension loads created by the wind from the upper stories down to the stilts. But you see, the Messerier had only calculated the wind load blowing perpendicularly against the building. What he didn't do was calculate the effects of diagonal winds. The building was completed in 1977, but it wasn't until 1978 when Le Messerier did the math himself that he realized he had messed up. Thanks to a young architectural student who challenged Le Messerier about the building's structural integrity in his research. Turns out, the building could, after all, be toppled by fast winds of 70 miles per hour, potentially leading to many casualties. If this news went public, it could ruin his entire professional reputation. 
Hoping to avoid causing a panic in the public, repairs were done in stealth of the night, and steel plates were welded over the bolted joints. And guess what? It wasn't until 17 years later, in 1995, that the news was disclosed to the media and public. Crazy, right? Talk about a smooth cover-up. Number 2. The Orville Dam Failure Orville Dam is one of the largest dams in the U.S. While most dams are built with one emergency spillway, the Orville had two, enough to tackle 100 billion liters of water. But 2017 was one of those years when it poured hard in California. And the rain may have been welcome, considering it was raining after five dry years of drought. But rainwater started filling the reservoir to dangerous levels, forcing the government to release water through the main spillway. Sadly, a crack appeared in the spillway, quickly growing into a 250-foot crater. In February, water levels rose to a whopping 901 feet and water began to flow down the other spillway. That's when something totally unexpected happened. As water flowed down, it started to erode the hillside, threatening to undercut the entire dam. Had the dam collapsed, a 30-foot wall of water could have come gushing down into the valley below. 18,000 people were evacuated and tons of sediment washed downstream, killing off an entire local ecosystem. Talk about a dam disaster. Number 1. The Rana Plaza Disaster One of the deadliest fires in history, the collapse of the Rana Plaza in Bangladesh claimed hundreds of innocent lives, as the eight-story factory in Dhaka turned to rubble in a matter of seconds. 1,134 people were killed and more than 2,000 injured. Later investigations showed that the plaza collapsed because new floors were added to the structure that went beyond its authorized design. Home to one of the largest textile industries in the world, 4 million Bangladeshis work in garment factories. But is enough being done for their safety? Using substandard material, ignoring structural design, and granting permits without proper oversight are common practices in the country. According to Transparency International, the real enemy may be the greed, negligence, and corruption pervading across the industry in this small but populous country. In the fire's aftermath, hundreds of protesters called for safer working conditions for factory workers across the country. A total of 38 people were charged for murder, including the plaza's own Sohel Rana, who remains in custody to date. From structural failures to design flaws and the glaring lack of government oversight, these construction mistakes serve as a stark reminder of the complexity and risks involved in the construction industry. To learn more about the ins and outs of large-scale construction, make sure to hit subscribe so you never miss out.